There have been many, many prayers offered up since 30 years ago when you brought Kyle and Amanda into this life. And Father, we know that Amanda's family and we know that Kyle's family have prayed many times and ask you about a spouse for each one of them. Father, tonight is so true of you so many times in our life. You have been faithful and you have brought them to a good end, but it's only the beginning. And so we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amanda, you're not only my older sister, you've been my rock, my prayer warrior, my mentor, but most importantly, you've been my best friend. Kyle, I can't begin to thank you enough for fully, wholeheartedly loving my sister and showing her that she is worthy of unconditional love. You lead her and continue to lead her closer to the Father's heart, and I have no doubt that you will lead by example. I knew that when I found the person that God had for me, it wouldn't take long for me to know. It took two conversations. I vowed to always keep a pure heart so that you know when I do mess up that you won't have to question my intentions. I vow to always prove that while I can't give you the world, you're worthy of it. I vow to grow to be the man that you inspired me to be, but to also be the man of God that you deserve for me to be. I vow to always have your back. No matter what happens, no matter how it happens, I believe in you and I believe in us. Kyle, before walking down the aisle, I was able to reflect on everything God has done to lead me here to you on our wedding day. Ultimately, every worldly failure, every broken promise, every painful heartbreak, every ounce of fear and helplessness was turned around for God's glory. I did life my way for 30 years, and in one year of total surrender and obedience, God helped me heal the broken parts of my past. He walked me through reconciliation and forgiveness. He refined my heart. He restored me by making me whole in Him so I could be made whole for you. By the authority vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ and the state of Indiana as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Father, we just ask you that you will now continually be their guide. Father, they are wound together and they are bound with you. And so we just ask that you will provide for them and you will give them guidance. You will give them direction for everything that comes their way. And Jesus, we love you. We love you more than our tongue can tell. And we just lift your name, and it's in your name we pray. Amen.